In my opinion, the new Brinkley Model Z is the new gold standard for fifth wheels. Let's go take a look. Brinkley's a new company out of Indiana that's had a whole new take on what it means to make a fifth wheel. The owners are actually fifth wheelers themselves. And when they came out with this, they wanted to make a unit for the people that can't find exactly what they're looking for. Let's take a look at some of the features that really make this stand out. We won't go too much into detail, but I wanna show you some of the things that these guys are doing that I don't, nobody else really is doing right now. These 17 and a half inch Cooper tires are really great tires for what you're getting. They're not the, you know, imported tires, you know what people call those. This is the work series, but they're definitely going with the right tire for the job. There's no six or 10 gallon water heater. This is actually going to be the new Furion tankless hot water. So as long as you got water in the tank and propane, you got hot water. One thing I always found ugly was the black magnet was here. So this piece right here was up here and it left a black spot on the wall. They decided to put the metal plate here, paint it white and put the magnet down here. Makes the body look a lot cleaner. So here in the utility center, this side flips up for easy access. You do have a 50 foot retractable fresh water hose. You can take that off if you want to. And this door swings out so you've got great access to your pass-through and your plumbing. Everything's very clean. If you look down here, this is usually the cheapest stuff you can get. I don't know what this material is called, but it's very nice, very durable, and it's all the way throughout this very, very clean storage area. Another nice thing is the electric knife valves. So you have your gray tank here, your black tank here, and you know this Nautilus system, pretty much everybody's using this. But this, this electric knife valves, that's pretty new. Now you don't have to reach down, grab and pull them out. We also have the Lippert e-leveling. One little thing they did is this is usually flush. They put it on an angle so it's just easier to get to. Sometimes you would see it kind of over here in a separate door. But when you put it in here, there's less cutaways in the wall. Here in the back, you do have the backup camera. One thing I like is the decals are not just stickers these are actually like a raised gel decal they just look a lot cleaner and honestly they'll last a lot longer here in the back we do have an additional storage area again with that clean liner nice clean carpet got some 110 outlets and lighting in here just an extra little space here on the campsite i just want to point out again that these magnets up here that white painted backing looks so much better than these black magnets sitting up here on this nice white wall. I just wanna show you how clean everything is in here. If you look up, the plumbing is all nice and straight. You don't see a rat's nest in here anywhere. You've got the red and blue PEX plumbing. And this access area is usually on almost every fifth wheel is screwed shut. They don't want you looking back here. But in this one, you have easy access to, to your wiring, your plumbing, and everything's clean. They took the time to make it look right. Here in the entry door, they did option in a password. So that's always nice to see. That's not new, but I like to see it. Then this grab handle, I haven't seen this before. So it pulls out and slides down and gives you this nice powder coated solid grab handle instead of the ones that kind of flip out. They're all, they've always been a little bit plasticky. This thing is made by Moride. The safety rail, super nice, super durable, and super clean. So here at the entry door, let's open that up. And we've got this different kind of Moride solid steps. So bring those down. 
and they flip forward. What's kind of nice about that is this is going to get covered in dirt. So before you put your steps away, boom, knock the dirt off. So my initial comments before we get into the details is these guys have figured out what modern people want an RV to look like. Just on the overall aesthetic, this feels very modern, very attractive. Now let me show you some of the things that are really special. First and foremost, this slide box. The biggest problem that RVers have, and I've talked to hundreds of people buying fifth wheels, is these front plates are nailed into place. There's always, you're always gonna see some kind of filler, some kind of place where there was a nail, but these guys decided to make it absolutely clean. And the way they did it, they screwed these in from the back. I mean, it's an easy thing to do, but it's not a cheap thing to do. These guys did it because that's what the people want. Now, first of all, the dinette is gorgeous. And a lot of times this table will expand and there's a little bit of storage underneath. You just kind of lift this up, but instead, they decided, if I can get it out, to put this cutlery tray in there. I mean, both ways there's storage. I really like this. Great place to put your cutlery. Then your chairs, these are like residential chairs. Like these are almost the same as the ones I have in my house. And they strap into place, but they just look so nice, matched with the recliners and this leather, faux leather. And then this little guy, I want to show you what this does. First of all, instead of Velcro, these are typically Velcro. This is the same magnets they use on the outside. So that magnets into place. But then you can take the bench seat out and it becomes a coffee table. I mean, who wouldn't want a coffee table? Now, if that wasn't enough, not only is it a coffee table slash ottoman, but it even lifts up for storage and to be over your lap. Now these windows, you might not have noticed on the outside, but they're fairly unique. They're uh, a new design. They're not the frameless windows. They're not the inserts. They're a little different. But what I really like is instead of the pleated shades or the roller shades, you've got these integrated blackouts. And from the bottom, you've got your bug screens. What a great idea. And they tilt open like your frameless windows, but they do go quite a ways out. So you're gonna get lots of air. They are also insulated windows. So let's talk about these recliners real quick. They look like a leather recliner you would see at Lazy Boy. Beautiful residential style, but these are an RV recliner. I've never seen them in any other units. But you have a wireless charger here, some storage here. Pull this lever and they do lay back. Typically these end tables in an RV are just a box. These are actually like residential end tables. Lift up here, you've got storage. I mean, they're really starting to make these fifth wheels look like a house. Another one here. Then this sofa, this is actually like a cloth sofa. Again, residential style, not your typical RV sofa. They even put in this little rug just to make it look a little more cozy. You know, it looks like something out of Pottery Barn. Now, as far as cabinets go, nice modern colors. You've got these goldish, brashish pulls. They're not that overly brassy look. They're more of a gold look, but I think they're really nice. They're not super 80s like the brass. Then it flows through into your faucet. You've got this pull down sprayer and that gold, just very residential, very nice to look at. As far as the sink, they went with a one piece sink with the roll up drying rack. Now it doesn't look like stainless steel. It doesn't look like acrylic. It's its own thing. It's like a dark material. Again, very, very nice. They have gone with the new Furion stove. So you do have the cast iron top with the three per propane burners. 
and the propane oven. The handles light up. Just a new design, very nice, very chunky. And I like that everything matches. So you do have the Furion microwave to go with it. And over here, this very residential looking Furion fridge. So you've got this side over here. Then you've got the freezer on the other side. I mean, if somebody wanted to live in this, which it is warranted for living in, this could be a really great setup. Look at this pantry. Look at all this storage. They've actually put it on a modular system so you can adjust the size of these based on what you're putting in there. But it lights up all the way from top to bottom. You've got 110 outlets inside there. Loads and loads of storage in the pantry. You've got your coffee bar. You've got outlets here and USBs. Look at this. You've got USBs inside the outlets and USB-Cs. More storage up here. Nice drawers down here. And then you've got this backsplash, which isn't like a sticker. It's actually like a subway tile. Now, before we leave the kitchen, this isn't a new thing, but this is something that not a lot of people are doing yet. This flush floor kitchen slide. Typically, there's like a one to two inch bump up here. You always stubbing your toes on it. This, you almost can't tell there's a slide out there. And that's not just here, but it's also over here. Just very clean. It doesn't look like an RV, guys. This looks like a home. Then coming up to the steps, you've got these floating steps. Again, not like every other RV, that's just kind of a box, but you can actually put your shoes underneath there and it looks really clean. Before we go upstairs, let's look at some buttons. So we do have our tank monitoring, fresh black and gray, our battery. And what I love about this, which some people would want the techie stuff, it's buttons, okay? A lot of RVs are going to digital, which is great, but these redundant button switches are actually great because if the screen dies or anything like that, you've just got buttons to push. Your lights do have dimmers as well. You gotta have dimmers in a residential quality RV, don't you? Coming upstairs, let's have a look at the bathroom again. Same interior colors. In here, we've got the black accents, so the black faucet, the black towel racks, the black frame on the mirror, medicine cabinet. Back here, we got the gold. So we've got the gold towel hooks and the gold pulls. Nice big linen closet. And this right here is the controller for that on-demand Furion. Again, matching appliances. Water heater. Look at this down here. People say, why doesn't it have a toilet paper holder? Well, it does. Put it wherever you want. And it magnets back into place for commute. Here in the shower, you've got this LED strip lighting this one piece surround with a little bit of uh, storage down here. But let's take a look at this shower feature. This is what you'll see in a high-end unit like a Pinnacle. You've got the body sprayers, you've got the wand. I mean, they really spared no expense on this Model Z. In the bedroom, we have a great little slide box for the bed. You've got lights for reading over top, bookshelves over here. What do we got for a mattress? We got a memory foam mattress, not a cheap RV stack of hay. Some beautiful mirrors on the closet. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at that. Motion sensor LED light. The LED light is actually in the hanging bar. This is what you'll see on a high-end diesel pusher. It does have prep for a Dyson, so you can hang your Dyson vacuum over here place for shoes, some storage up above, and obviously this is the motion sensor. Then in this closet here, I'm gonna say washer dryer prep. Yes, sir. So you've got the vent pre-cut, you got some plugs. Down below here, you've got your plumbing. And if you don't wanna wash your dryer, just more storage. From the bed, you do have your Insignia Smart TV, bit of a dresser here. And this dresser is kind of interesting. You slide this and you've got some hidden storage in here. I mean, it's not an exclusive thing, but it's a little different than most. Before we leave, I wanna show you one more thing under here. So you do have some LED motion sensor lights under the bed and right here, you've got USB, USB-C and 110 outlets. In case you have a CPAP machine, you've got that on either side of the bed. You know, just thinking about everything. 
You know, guys, I could talk for days about Brinkley. I got a chance to go to the factory and these guys are serious. They want to make the best product available and they want to make a fifth wheel for fifth wheel lovers. If you ever get a chance to see one, come down to Travelland RV here in Airdrie, come see me. My name's Jay and I'll give you a full walkthrough, but I'd love to tell you every little detail, but we're short on time. So have a great day, happy camping, and hopefully we see you soon.